Welcome back to Crack and Flip, guys. This is Richard with box number six, the final box in our case. Let's get cracking, shall we? It's been a good ride, a fun ride. Some shenanigans with our foil rares. Hopefully that last video wasn't framed. I apologize again if it wasn't. I have yet to watch any of the videos. I have yet to really do the price work on it to see if I made my money back or not. But with uh, two nickel boluses, that pretty much pays for one box by itself. So I'm very sure I'm getting there. Very sure. So all prices are from TCG Player Market Value. All my boxes are on opening weekend, though I might be editing and adding those prices in a week or two weeks down the road. So if there is something off about my comments and the price on the screen, that is why. All right, guys. Flood, a tower enchanter with a dragon's horde with a foil boar, bristling boar. All right, so I haven't added up the money to see where I'm at. So I have no details on what I'm giving away. But if you guys have a suggestion, go ahead and throw it down in the box. Leave it in the comments, I mean. A rose gloves and a wind reader sphinx. I might do like a fat pack or something, or one of the Planeswalker decks. Who knows? Um, I might actually do something from one of the other sets too, if you guys want, versus uh, this set. Encyclopedia, Vimer, Murder, and a Dragon Queen. I might do something where I open up half a box, open up a whole box, and then like. This half goes to the subscriber, this half is mine, or whatever. That way it's a kind of gamble thing. Who knows, who knows, but maybe I'll give away a full box, we'll see. Green Seeker, Switcheroo, Hungry and Hydra. And the reason I'm kind of thinking about a full box is only because I want to pass it down. I mean, like, I saved $200 on this thing already. So I almost feel like it's part of my... Uh, you know, it's part of karma just to pass that down to other people. Druid of Horns, Mirror Image, Poison Tip, Archer with a Selfless Champion, and a Dragon Egg. Uncommon Foil. So we shall see how that goes. Dragon Egg. Make a stand. FL Spectre. A line war leader. But like I said, I might just end up just doing a uh, bundle. Which is not bad. It's not bad in itself either. Diamond Mare. Volcanic Dragon, Heroic Reinforcements, or a Scepter. Though I'd much rather do like a Kaladesh or a Revolt bundle just so like you can get that thrill of maybe getting a hundred, two hundred dollar card. Fountain of Renewal, a Sage, a Vampire Sovereign with a Liliana's Contract. Once again, it is getting hot in this room and I'm sweating again. Let's get going. The Dragon Egg, Gutter Snipe, Enigma Drake with the Awakener, with a Walking Corpse as our foil. A lot of foils are off the bat. Oh man, if I get that cleric one more time, that archaeologist, I'm gonna be a uh, thud. Reassembling skeleton, sleep. A oh, Johnny, there you go, adversary of tyrants. There you go, Johnny. Welcome back, homie. Um, now that I don't like, I'm I hate those foils. It's more like uh. When you open six boxes, and you're getting like nine, somewhere between six and nine foils per box. You think you wouldn't get any uh, duplicates there. Mystic Archaeologist. Okay, on next pack. Sorry about that, the doorbell rang. I go answer that. Alright. Alright. 
Druid of Horns, make a stand lightning strike with a cleansing Nova. You know what I noticed too? There are several rares I have not even seen yet. Oh, uh, six boxes. I have not seen a mammoth. Um, is that in this set or is that in like one of the Planeswalker decks? Uh, get to Paradise, dual ca double cast, Enchanter, and a Chaos Wand with a foil. Highland Lake. I believe that's only our second of those uh, double lamp foils. Or tap lands, I guess you say. It's a proper term. Skilled Animator. Recollect Sift Gigantosaurus. I think that's my playset. Aspire, Herald of Faith, Mirror Image with a Death Baron, and Essence Scatter as our foil common. Last box, let's see if we get a double mythic case, shall we? That would be pretty epic. Pretty epic. Lion Vanguard, Murder, Gargoyle Sentinel, Isolate. A lot of rare play sets from this set, which I'm very, very pleased with. We got a Stitcher Supplier, Infernal Hellion, Militia Bugler with a Dark Dweller Oracle as our crappy rare. Blood Divination, a Corrosion, Aerial Engineer with a 1 with the Machine. And this is the slowest Mythic start we've had so far with one of these boxes. Could it be we're finally going to get a 3 Mythic box? I hope not. Millstone, Gift of Paradise, Aerial Engineer, the Transmogified Wand. Transmogifying. That was horrible. Horrible. Alright. Pretend you all didn't see that. Lightning Mare. Cage. A ghoul. With a Vivian's Invocation. That's our rare. This is really the longest we've ever gone without a Mythic. It's starting to worry me. <laughs> Guide, Exclusion Mage, an Ogre with Boo, Bone Dragon. I would have wished to go a little longer then <laughs> without a Mythic. And even though I'm sure Bone Dragon is never going to be like a good playable card, if a Mythic's below a dollar or around a dollar, don't sell it, just keep it. Shield Mare, Declare Dominance, Resembling Skeleton with a Bane Fire. Because if a mythic is one of those cards that no matter how long it's uh, under a dollar or a dollar, um, they will always, always spike to near 10 or above 10 if they suddenly become valuable. Double cast, Horizon Scholar, Volcanic Dragon with a Demanding Dragon as a rare. Uh, look at, um, what's it called, that... Uh, Combat Celebrant, I had like eight of him, and I was able to sell all those guys for like nine dollars after being less than a dollar for so long. Tower, Artificer, Gravedigger, Sun Cleanser with a Herald of Faith as an uncommon foil. So, yeah, always keep your two dollar or whatever mythics. Skilled Animator, Gorgol Sentinel. Colossal and a desecrated tomb. Some I would even say keep at ten. You know, like things like uh, like Mox Amber. I think it's like nine bucks right now, and I got one during my Vegas trip. 
I did a Vegas Grand Prix, which is kind of fun. Volley Veteran, Mare, Patrol, and a Lich. And I was like $9 when I got back. I was like, you know what, I'm keeping that. Because that, anything that's zero to cast, it has potential somewhere down the line. Someone might find a use for it. And then you got a good, decent card in your hands. Armor, Novice Knight, a Siege Breaker Giant with an Armor Sore Rare. That's the reason why that card isn't going all the way down, even though, like, hardly anything is playing it. Because it's a mythic, and because, you know, it has uses. It has uses. It costs zero mana, so basically you're just looking at a, missing a slot for it. You need your Golem. Psychic Symbiont with an Amulet of Safekeeping, as our rare. Diamond Mare, Sift, oh cool, another Mythic, not my favorite, but another one, $7 one, Island, Artificer Thud, Knightly Valor, a Johnny's Last Stand, and guys, we are near the bottom, this might be only a 3 Mythic box. <laughs> one of them, only one of them, is above ten dollars. That's super sad. Ravenous Harpy, Sleep, Fellow Spectre, Demon of Catastrophes. Come on, homie, hope you go up. Making a deck out of him. Making a very janky deck out of him, actually. Bow and Ash, a Plague Mare. And a sword of Valerion, the mustache sword. Fear the stash. Fear it. And uh, of the heavens, suspicious bookcase, switcheroo, scape shift. There you go. Good mythic number two. Four mythics. We're still missing our fifth. Still miss and we're just missing a full rare actually too. We have not gotten a full rare, so let's hope it's hiding behind Nickel Bullis. Shall we? A Johnny's welcome. Recollect. Green Seeker. Infernal Reckoning. Down to the last two. At this point I'm like, am I gonna get stiffed? It happens. I've seen it happen. You can get stiffed on a uh, foil rare. Alright guys. Rogue's Gloves. A Twins. A Johnny's Pride. Goblin Trash Master. And this isn't it. It's down to the final, final pack. Does this contain our last fifth mythic? Final pack of course set guys. I may open up other things, things like that, other other corsets, but for the most part, this is it. It's been a fun, fun journey. Hope you have enjoyed. Hopefully that goal, I met it and surpassed it. And hopefully, look forward to that update video of me talking about what I'm giving away after going through this awesome set. So rise from the grave. Corrosion. Poison tip archer. This is it a mythic? No, it's just a rare. And guys, I think we got gypped. Spitfire. Did I already pull one out? Did I pull one out? Nope. Yep. It is official. We got gypped on our final... Our final foil rare. Is not here. Did I accidentally toss it? I don't think I did. I'll find it if I did. Or you'll let me know in my comments or once I edit this. But, oh man, that's kind of a kick in the pants. Um, <laughs> well, sorry about that, but yeah, you know what? A Johnny and Scape Shift. Let's not forget about those guys, but uh, yeah. Yeah. No foil rare for a final box. That's kind of uh, messed up. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's been a great, great trip. I've enjoyed it. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. Um, stay tuned for some more videos. I think I'm breaking these up um, 
with some pre-release kits. You've probably seen those already. So everyone, enjoy. Hope you guys have fun. And let's move on to the next set coming out as we return to return to Ravnica. Everyone have a good time. Like and subscribe.